Hello, my name is Stephen Stills, former lead singer of the Canadian rock band Sex bob and vice captain of the East Blue Equinox Canadian branch. By the way, you may have noticed the new voice that matches the one of my live action counterpart. But anyways, I didn't come here to come here to break the fourth wall about my recent vocal improvement. I'm here to speak on behalf of Pedal Poner 69 and why he hasn't been making any new videos lately. Well, to be honest, Pedal Poner 69 and his girlfriend Lil Miss Pryor 75 have been dating a lot more frequently and have just been caught up enjoying their summer together. But enough about this YouTuber's love life, he's finally gonna get back to making more Speakonia videos, in fact aside from this he's currently working on his long promised secret missing episode of Sailor Moon S, which he hopes to get out by this fall. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get going. Captain Buggy has found a new location to hide the Tome of Forbidden Swellness and it's up to us in the Canadian branch of the East Blue Equinox to keep our various enemies from learning the whereabouts of its new hiding place. Anyways, let's get this video started. Cue the intro music. Why hello there, it is I, Bobby Bear. You may remember yours truly as one of the swell bad ass heroes from the secret missing episode of Maple Town made sometime last year. Anyways, I bet you're just scratching your various areas of exposed flesh wondering about what I've been up to since those events. And if the answer to that question isn't until fucking obvious by now, then listen up. After those events I became the proud chairman to the swellest group of bad ass canic crusaders in the Speakonia community. I of course refer to no other than the Canadian branch of the Darkwing Den. Yes, Darkwing and his bunch had recently established a group of Rocket Rough Riders from our home and native land, and I for one consider myself proud to be leading such a fine group of bad assery. But don't take my word for it, why don't I let some of my fellow bruisers tell you about themselves? Alright fellas, take the stage. Hello, my name is Andy McNally. You may know me from the Canadian cock drama Rookie Blue, of which both Pedal Poner 69 and Leo Miss Pryor 75 like to watch on a weekly basis. Now to answer your first question, yes I am actually a man and I am also really 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 gay. Yes I look like a woman, kind of like, oh, take your fucking pick ha ha ha. But anyways, I'll leave the full details of my gayness for, if and when someone does a secret missing episode of Rookie Blue, for now let's focus more on my position in the Darkwing Den's Canuck branch. I happen to be in charge of tracking all the criminal records of the Canuck branch's enemies, including those fuckers in the Carmen Collective. Currently our intel in Phonophobia tells us that some members of the elitist alliance are planning an assassination attempt on both our former Prime Minister Stephen Harper, and former Aussie Prime Minister Tony Abbott, who are currently in the works of setting up a festival to commemorate gay and fetish rights for their respective countries. The info is a little sketchy at the moment, but we'll keep ourselves posted for any updates on the matter. Well I think I've said enough. Now say hello to our group's second in command and one of my commanding officers. Hello, my name is Klondike Cat. You may remember me from that swell cartoon The Underdog Show. But anyways, like McNally said earlier, I am Vice Captain of the Darkwing Dins Canadian Branch, and my mission is to put a stop to all swell food theft in Canada, my most persistent target being no other than that master food thief, Save the Fair. Yes that snack snatching rodent always manages to outsmart me, but one day he'll slip up, and when he does... I'll make mincemeat out of that mouth! Anyways, rumor has it that that rat bastard is joining up with our enemies in the Carmen Collective. Well if those rumors are true, it'll give me all the more reason to rage war on that food fag. Now if you'll excuse me, I must get this basket of food for our branches meeting back to our secret base before... Wait, what the? Where did that basket of food go? Savoir faire is everywhere! Oh fuck, oops him, save our fair. Damn it he did it to me again, erg. Anyways, I'll have the next member introduce himself. Alright save our fair, 
I'm going to mince meat the shit out of you. Hello, my name is Russo from Whimsy's House. Now then, you may remember from my aforementioned series that I was established as a firefighter, and as you may have guessed, this very status is what earned me the position as head of the Canadian branch's rescue division. Anyways, at the moment I'm setting things up for a staff meeting to discuss current events concerning the All-Star Lafe Olympics. I wonder what's taking Klondike Cat so along with those refreshments, HMM. Well, I think I've said enough. Here's the next member. Yo, the name's Sandra LeBlanc from the Canadian-French animated series My Life Me. Yes, Pedalponer69 happens to have a soft spot for my swell series, especially for yours truly, which is why he has added me to this band of hardcore Canucks, yes. I was recruited not only for my badass skateboarding skills, but mostly because I have a special technique, which I call the own face, a glare stun technique which puts anyone I use it on in a state of shock and disbelief. Here is a quick example. Aha. So there you have it. My literate stunning looks make yours truly a force to be reckoned with. What's that? You want to know what my main sexual preference is? Well although I consider myself bisexual, I do have somewhat a habit of flirting with other girls, especially when it comes to teasing my lesbian BFF, Birch Small. What? You thought Birch had a thing for that pretty boy Rafi Rodriguez? Oh not even close you hoes or noobs, Birch is now, and always has been a raging scissor holder. I mean come on, she's into shoujo i mangas for fuck's sake. In fact last I heard about Birch was that she's currently in a steady relationship with some nerdy Australian chick, who is also a huge fan of manga. Well good for her haha. As for the two male members of our little circle jerk, I can really see myself having a sexy time with those two, mostly because Rafi is an obnoxious pretty boy who likes to take advantage of his school status and popularity. Then there's Birch's closeted bisexual cousin Liam Call, who is also an inch denial footster, who obviously prefers male feet. How do I know this you ask? Well one day I saw Liam going into a karate dojo and caught him sniffing all the boys' shoes laid out next to the door. To this day he denies the whole thing, but I know what I fucking saw, and I haven't been able to get that mental image out of my head ever since. Erg. But anyways, this is all stuff that could be best left for a secret diary and or a secret missing episode if Pedalponer69 decides to make one at some point. All the kids were since all the kids men couldn't put the fourth wall back together again. Ahaya. <laughs> Well it's about time that gag was added in this video. Anyways, here's our next member. Hello, my name is Penny from Inspector Gadget, and everything you heard about me is true. That is me and Brain are the true secret agents of Metro City, and how my Uncle Gadget is actually a secret weapon to distract our arch enemy Dr. Claw. And it's also true that Gadget is my own personal plaything whenever we're off duty together. As yes, I am a pedophiliac. Just look at my sexy, smooth-looking underaged feet. Ha ha ha. The same goes for Brain here. Not only is he my partner in the spy business, but he is also my personal love pet. It's just as well as it sounds. Now you may think I happen to be part of the Ketchum Clan's junior branch. Well, to be honest, I'm more of a major ally and a personal close friend to that lot. I hang out with them so often that it most likely started this rumor. Plus it makes a great cover for me to keep inconspicuous when doing my spy work. Yes. Well I think I said enough. Back to you Bobby. Ah yes, and that's not all YouTubers. In our music division we had Rockzilla from the animated series My Dad the Rockstar. Also we have Omar from the Canadian animated film Rock and Rule. And thanks to Dexter and his cloning technology, we have ourselves a clone of the Bride of Frankenstein version of Prudence from Beetlejuice the animated series. And yes this character is established as being a canon, considering that said animated series was made by the Canadian film company Nelvana, the same company that brought us the aforementioned film Rock and Rule, by the way. Originally we were thinking about recruiting no other than Dudley Do right into our swell ranks, considering that his arch nemesis Knightley Whiplash is part of our aforementioned enemies the Carmen Collective. But we've heard rumors that the unestablished union was in the works of making their own Canadian branch, and they already have dibs on the right to be the proud chairman of said branch once it is formed. And if that's the case, we'll just back off for now and let our major allies have their swell way. Oh, am I? Well, folks, thanks for watching and be sure to stay tuned for. Not so fast, Bobby Bear. I, the Cube Cellulite, am here to spread my butt hurt. I demand you cease and resist this introduction video before I press the flag button and YouTube shall take said video down for not following community guidelines. However, 
What the fuck, Cube Centibite? Oh yeah, you're the fucker who tried to blow your butt hurt shenanigans during DW Forever 91 secret missing episode of Sailor Moon R. Why I bet you were even behind that whole community guideline strike bullshit, and as a result our swell final battle in part 2 of the aforementioned video, which includes yours truly, had to be condensed to a media fire download. Erg. Well Mr. Pincushion, we're not about to let you do the same thing here on Pedal Donor 69's channel, so you'd better just get the fuck out of here, or as we say here in Canada, take off a, if you know what's good, for you. Foolish bear, you've been warned, now you're going to suffer the unswell consequences. Um, we'll see about that. Please Sandra, care to do the honors? Ahaya, uh, no problemo Bobby. Hey service freak, look over here. What the fuck, I'm just, who the hell are you? <laughs> Oh fuck, that female stunning there has left me in a paralyzed state. I, I can't move a muscle, ugh. Indeed, and now it's time to complete the process by hammering every pin in your head with my little rip bare hands. <coughs> 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 Serves you right. Now I suggest you do what I said and take off A, or would you prefer round two? Ugh, don't think you've gotten away with this Bobby Bear. One day I shall have my revenge, and the Darkwing then shall face the Butthurt Wrath of the Carmen Collective. But for now, fuck off and let me be. Well, good riddance to bad rubbish. And thanks again, Sandra, for the swell assistance. Ahaya, <laughs> anytime Bobby boy. Peace. Now then, like I was saying before, thanks for watching and be sure to support the Canadian branch of the Darkwing Den. Later all you swell danger seeking bad asses, link.